we have noticed with concern an increasing tendency of intolerance among political leaders. And we are asking political leaders to conduct their politics within the law, and they must maintain the peace in their political meetings. No person is allowed to disrupt public meetings, to use goons, to meet out violence and harass members of the public. Politicians are allowed to differ on ideologies, programs, policies, and viewpoints because our constitution allows multi-party democracy. However, no politician of whatever stature is allowed to use violence, goons, and other criminals to harass, intimidate, or incite the public against each other. And I have left very firm and clear directives on the trans County Security Committee to be firm, ruthless, and merciless on all people who sponsor, finance, encourage, support, aid, and abet goons and political thugs who go to disrupt meetings organized by people of a different viewpoint. And it doesn't matter whether the organizers and sponsors are pro or anti-government. We will crush them equally. And nobody is above the law. I repeat for the avoidance of doubt, nobody is above the law. And all politicians must do their politics within the law. They are free to disagree with each other. They are free to have a different opinion, but they are not free to use criminals to harass, incite, intimidate, or disrupt public meetings. And this hooliganism and disruption has taken a life of itself, not just here in Transoya. You saw last week the kind of activities that were taking place in presidential meetings in Kericho and Bomet. We made it clear that that will not be countenanced. So we, 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 we are not, as we are not part of the political discussions, our work is to secure the nation and make sure that everybody follows the law and people who transact their political businesses, economic businesses, do so peacefully. 